But I think of Zuchi Kogdo whole roundedly. I think he's very focused, man. That's one thing about Zuchi. You know, if it's he's he's he has his priorities in order. If it's about music, it's about music. You know what I mean? If you just chilling, you just chilling. And when you get to know him as a person, you get to understand that he loves what he does, and it's all that matters to him. He takes care of it. You know what I mean? Like, all his heart, he takes care of it. So Zuchi is a very focused person. That's what Zuchi is. Zuchi's coming for it. And as a person, Zuchi, you can tell Zuchi's understanding. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's full of understanding. He's a genius, man. The, the kid makes, uh, you know, in a time where, where it sounds like a lot of <laughs> hip-hop artists are running out of ideas fast, it's dope to hear somebody who's like really fresh and sounds really confident and is very dynamic too. Have you ever made a wish? Morning star, morning star. Have you ever made a wish? Morning star, morning star. Have you ever made a wish? Morning star, morning star. Have you ever? The music I make is really, I'd say, like, not my every days, but stuff I go through. I, I, I make music about things I go through, like, I just dropped an EP, which just highlighted, like, my road and, you know, everything I've been through by, like, music and, you know, just, I make music according to what's on my mind and, you know, I try to, like, tell people's stories and teach them better, and, you know, I'm not really about, like, you know, fuck up the club or... I'll get on joints like that, but like I'm more like the introspective type, you know. Try to get people to think better, get their mind right, you know, because that's what I need when I listen to music. So I make that type of music. Yeah, yeah man, working with Zuch is it's, it's crazy. It's it's like. He, he he's always like down to work like whenever I'm with him it's never like you know I'm chilling with the nigga like you know like I'm chilling with my home it's just down to work you know it's like one of the hardest working human beings I've ever the production I'd say it was fairly dark, you know? Most of the songs are dark, and it's only because I was in a dark space, you feel what I'm saying? By like, what I had to do, and all the things I had sacrificed, and all the time I had sacrificed, and all the relationships, not like love relationships or spousal relationships, but like relationships with people, friends, you know? My mom, and like my family, and like, it was just a dog period where like people were turning their backs on me and I was alone in studio a lot. Like most of the stuff that you hear right now, like even the features and everything, beats and stuff, I made at home and I was just chilling at home alone. So it was a very dog period, that's why the EP so dark. Maybe I'll make something happier because things are good now, you know. Yeah. <laughs> This is what we should be getting like three years from now. You know what I mean? But he's delivering it right now. So you can pretty much tell that three years from now it's gonna be on another level. You know what I mean? That's how much I believe in Zuchi. With Morning Star, he came up to me and was like, yo man, you know, I'm planning on doing this, that, the third with you, playing me the song. And I really liked it, man. You know, so I was down for it. I like Zucci's shit. Um, so I came off of, from listening to a couple of Zucci's shit, but not really knowing that Zucci by liking it, you know what I mean? But I like Zucci's shit, man. So when he came to me and, you know, presented Swish to me, it was a blessing. I was like, ah, right, God, nice. Which is crazy because I actually did the first, like, 30 minutes before he had dropped the tape because I was so busy, you know what I mean? He tore, um, 
gigs, interviews and shit, you know, but eventually I had to do it. So it was like 30 minutes just before he had dropped, man. It was so genuine and it's doing well right now. So yeah. On the PP, I've got um, Stogie T, I have A. Reese, Ginger Trill, uh, Kid X, and my little homie Diamonds and Big Les for real. Yeah, it's a nine track EP. I really believe like music is a personal thing and if your music is not personal then you're doing something wrong like if you're going to be telling another man's story if you're sitting at home and you know that at home I cannot afford like five bottle or five bottles of Moet or whatever like five bottles of Ciroc if you know you can't afford that and you and you get on a song and talk about I'm popping five bottles of Ciroc when you know you're not then you're doing something wrong so as far as what I'm gonna do next or what I'm gonna talk about or what my sound is gonna move to as I said Morningstar is is what I was going through at, at the time like if, if, if you if you if you listen properly it, it, it's, it's a very come up story like almost everything nobody did me no favors you know no more Mr. Nice Guy I was a lot like even the hooks I was doing, like, I was all alone, I did it just to flakes, stuff like that, like, that's just a very come up approach, because that's where I was, I was like, I was telling my come up story. Nobody did me no favors, why? I was working on my vision, nobody did me no favors, nobody did me no favors, nobody did me no favors, now I'm moving and I'm winning, nobody did me no favors, no. Bitches in the cut shit. Uh, I might just fuck up the budget. No, I'm kidding, I don't play that. I'm getting paid to show up at the function. And y'all niggas on some fuck shit. But we gon' always rise above. He wants to be outstanding as far as you know sonically, you know, the music is concerned. Sonically, he wants his sound to just be very different, very clean, very rare, so that nobody else can create the source. You can't duplicate it, you can only get it from him. But what made it easy for me is because like that's the kind of music that I make, funny enough, you know? That's, that's the kind of stuff that I'd make anyway if he just sent me the beat. I'd, love, I'd, I'd, I'd fall in love with it and that's, what I would, that's the type of stuff that I would do. So it's almost like we are from the same generation and you know, as far as where this thing could possibly go, we can see it and we're like, yeah, let's, let's, let's go more this way. Let's, let's go more this way. So it's like, it's like working with somebody that I've worked with before. If I was to try to, you know, get, get a peek into his future based off how he's, what he's doing right now, I think he's going to, I think he already is a force to be reckoned with. It's just that his presence is, is much more visible on the internet. You know what I mean? Uh, and that's where he can control the narrative. That's when you can see what he co-signs by, what he retweets, what he says, because you don't get to see him on a lot of interviews on, on, on TV. But he's, he's, a lot of people went to him for the sauce. I mean, how many singles on rotation since January have been produced and featured Zucci? You know, he produces and features himself on the song and some other guy features. So it's like, if, it's, if it keeps going at that rate, this guy is going to influence a whole wave and a generation of a sound. I spent so much time in the studio, turning knobs. Making songs perfect Fixing up, trying to make music perfect That's why I hate going outside Ain't no knobs to make life perfect That don't stop me from trying I'm an enemy to myself There's no compression I can put on my thoughts I can't put people on a PC Or put scenarios and problems on the channel and make them perfect But it's the only life I know so what are you doing? Music is taking so much from you And you've come way too far to stop now You see why I say you gotta get your mind right, nigga? Fuck that! Fuck rap! Fuck all you niggas! Fuck every single nigga that ever looked down on me! Fuck all these fucking bitches that did me wrong! Fuck every single nigga that think I ain't really doing this shit for real! When it comes to these fucking melodies and these beats, nigga, any nigga can get it, nigga. I dare any nigga to step up to me right now, and you won't get that work, nigga. And you, don't push you, me. your karma shit, you try.
Johnny, 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 you trying to give me the thanks straight, nigga? It's cool. We can be like this, dog. What the it's fuck, cool, bro? That's what the rap game needs anyway. Is that a gun, nigga? So, I'm Put sorry that shit away, this nigga. What the fuck? Stop playing. Hey, hey, me nigga, down. what the fuck? If you listen properly, there's there's a, a lower pitch voice, which is the you know stable-minded guy, the you know get to get, get it together type of guy, and there's the high pitch guy, who's just always bashing the, the 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 stable guy, you know, just you're always too soft, you always you know, and then they like get into it and they argue about different issues, you know, like you know last time you were talking about a girl, like you slowing us down and things like that, and then at the end. The, they argue and then the bad one ends up killing the good guys that's why there's like gunshots and then like the second song that's why the second song is called Mr. Nice Guy no more Mr. Nice Guy yeah because the, the, the good guy in the intro dies and he gets shot by the bad guy because I mean you can't be too good out here otherwise you know niggas will take advantage I haven't seen my mom in three years you feel me like, I haven't seen my mom in three years. And that's the thing of, it's not something like you could say, I prefer it this way or I planned it to be this way. It just happened this way because I, I'm out here to do something. You feel what I'm saying? And most of the time, if you, if you tell your parents you've got a dream such as mine in the field that I'm in, most black kids know it that like parents will not like support you fully because as soon as you're like old enough to go to school they see you like as an engineer or like as a doctor or like as a all those other things but like when you when you come home and you're like I want to be a dancer or I want to be a musician or they, they they've got that thing of like have a backup plan or are you sure or it's not like so when that happened between me and my mom I I got the thing of I have to come out here to make sure that I'm going to become what I say I'm going to become. And when 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 I see her next time, it must show that I I, I left with a plan and I'm going to show her that, you know, I was dedicated enough to see it through financially and everything.